It's time to talk about loads of stuff because to be honest, I've been wanting to talk to you for a long time and I, I remember hitting up Amika and I was like, if he's doing any press, let me know. Um, yeah. Yeah, because I'm a fan, I'm a fan. But how's, uh, I love that. how's lockdown quarantine been for you? Um, it's been interesting, you know, uh, for the longest time, you know, nobody in my, in my circle had gotten sick or anything, but then just recently a couple of the homies got, um, we tested positive. Yeah. So it kind of got a little bit realer, you know what I mean? When somebody that you know gets, gets sick with that. So, um, it's been, it's been, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, just finding ways to stay creative and wait like at first i wanted to work out a lot and, <laughs> and get, get the quarantine bod and that shit fell off and then uh and now i'm starting to get back into the swing of that i'm mm-hmm. like exercising again i'm starting to feel a little bit more normal but it's still crazy right now you know like yeah you know it's, i, I want to get done with this so i can go back out and do shows and get yeah, out to london yeah because this time last year you was in london right yeah yeah that's that's mad and it's all festival season and all that stuff right now so it's yeah. it's kind of a it's I, kind of a jar i did wireless in a in like a room they did like a 360 camera like yeah. vr show and it was crazy i mean it was it was really tight but it was like Fuck, i want to be in the real wireless <laughs> you want to see crowd you want to have people screaming and all yeah that stuff. i want to be giving high fives and shit yeah, yeah. Okay, come on yeah it's a bit of a jar um yeah. Tell me, I want to I want to go back a little bit. Obviously, I've gone and done research and watched loads of interviews and stuff like that. But um, I found out that your dad was a musician as well. Yes. So, is that was that your foot into music and stuff? So yeah, so both my parents are musicians, mm-hmm. and um, and and all my aunts and uncles, like my dad, is one of twelve. Oh my so, god. Like, so all my aunts and uncles are like, you know, choir yeah. directors and they play instruments and shit. That's sick. You must have bad yeah. cousins. Oh my God. I'm, I meet <laughs> new cousins every time I go back home. I you know what I mean? That's mad. Yeah. That is mad. And then you, you dropped Low Tide. Um, was that last year you La- dropped it? Last year, 2019. Last year. Um, yeah. Tell me about this blind studio date you did with Sid. The, t- about what was Sid? the blind studio date so you didn't know you was gonna get in the studio or you had it oh, worked the before. blind studio day yeah, yeah yeah so um so yeah we uh we were connected through a mutual friend mm-hmm. and um and they were just like yeah you know we think that you guys would work really well together and there's somebody that i work a lot with his name is zach seekoff um mm-hmm. and he we went to high school together he's like my brother and uh he I think he had met Sid before, but he had never worked with her. So I hit him up and I was like, yo, do you want to come to the session with me? It'd just be the three of us. You know, yeah. I know we all have a lot of mutual friends. Just to kind of have it be like a little bit. A, a little, little link up, yeah. Yeah, a little link up. So, so we, uh, we, yeah, we came together and, uh, and it, was, it was just like easy. Like some sessions, you know, it takes a while to like catch a vibe. And you talk yeah. for a long time and then this and that. But this one was cool because we just kind of like, you know, I, obviously I was like a fan of Sid and the internet already. Yeah. So she, so she came in and she was like, oh, you know, I'm working on some new shit with them. And at that point, I forget exactly what it was that they were working on, but mm. she played us some crazy shit. I don't know if it was like the the Hive Mind project or something like that, but yeah. they uh, she, she played us some stuff. And then immediately we just started cooking up the do you wrong idea. And then we were having a lot of fun, like, yeah. freestyling kind of like we were doing like french montana voice and like <laughs> and like Ka- kanye voice like hey you know so <laughs> so we that must were, have been we sick playing around yeah and we and we all kind of just like wrote a bunch of puns like the like the bar like uh uh take the mask off i'm gonna put my face in it like all that yeah. stuff we were just we were just trying to crack jokes but then it got to a point where it was like damn like the song is really hard yeah no, so i love we, that uh, song so we polished it up yeah yeah, Did you like, expect to make something that good? Uh, I mean, good is like uh, an interesting <laughs> word because yeah, because like because like, there there's shit that there's shit that you make sometimes you think it's really good and other people don't get it yeah, yeah and then yeah. sometimes you do some shit that just seems fun and everybody's like this is genius yeah for real so, for real <laughs> yeah no so, everyone yeah, messes it with fun. it though 
everyone misses I, it. But... Man, I love it. I love it. It feels great. It just like I feel like we had fun, and sometimes when you have fun, you just crack the code, you know, and we just yeah. got a good one. Yeah. Before we talk about High Tide as well, I also want to touch on Joy because that was a single that was released in 2017, but I feel like it's so relatable. Like the lyrics that you're saying is so relatable to today, which is mad. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So Yeah, I mean, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's mad, but it's also like that shit has been going on for forever. So like yeah. that, you know, I, I think at that point, 2016, there was a lot of summer, there was a lot of shootings. Yeah, a lot during that time. Yeah. But it's just crazy that it's still yeah. like we're still having to do it having to to talk about it and it's crazy it and you know protest for the they've been music. talking about this shit since it's fucking you know since the beginning of music it's like mm-hmm. all the music that r&b like if you go back and go back and go back these are like you know this is like our the the musical ancestors or like you know what i'm saying like this is like slave music you know what i mean yeah. like the music mm-hmm. that came like the blues of american music is like oppression music and people turn the most fucked up situation into a beautiful art or express their pain in a beautiful way. And like, that's just how, like music is medicine, you know? So in the sixties, you had a big explosion of like artists that were able to like talk about what was going on in the seventies and, you know, and now that shit is happening again, but it's, it's kind of just been constant, you know I mean? This is like yeah. a huge problem in, in the world, not just America. Like, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well, Let's talk about High Tide. Let's talk about High Tide. I love this album. I've been Thank you. I've been rinsing Rich Girl a lot. I you love like that Rich Girl? Yeah. Hell and yeah. I, and I like Get By a lot as well. Um what's your favorite song? Do you have a favorite song? Um my favorite song right now is Get By. Yeah. Does it change? It changes. It changes a lot because some of the songs are old to me. Mm-hmm. So like, so some of them I had, you know, I had started a long time ago, and then I, you know, sometimes you'll start a song, you forget about it, and you kind of come back across it. You feel like, oh, now's the time for it. Yeah. So you know, different songs pop up. La 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 for me was really special. Yeah, that's um, a Made for you, obviously, is really special. Um, I love the intro though. See, like now you got me talking about my. <laughs> like, no, I, but I, I want to <laughs> hear it. This is what I'm here for. I, I love the I, I love Get By right now and I and I love Fire in Your Eyes. I'll say yeah. those two. I'll pick two. It's a strong intro, very strong intro. Thank you. Go t- tell me about how long it took for you to take this into album mode though, because you said some of these songs are old. Yeah, so you know the vision was uh was always to do two projects to kind of um you know I had I had probably like a hundred songs. Yeah. that I was just like had in my in my iTunes and like my hard drive and we uh we put out joy and we put out smile put out yours and then it was time to do some projects and I just wanted to kind of put out you know almost like a collection of what I had at the time but it was so much that I had to sort of space it out yeah. and I, I naturally I was adding more music and stuff so um you know it was just uh it was just like a process of of getting like you know an idea that i had maybe in 2017 that i just had a voice memo of yeah and then yeah. and then finally getting to a place in my life where i was like oh wow like this voice memo needs to be a song and and just be a part of this collection i see low tide and high tide not as albums but just as like kind of like a time capsule you know yeah of course i can imagine what was um yeah. What was the selection process like then? If you have over a hundred and something ideas and songs, how yeah. did it get down to this collective of songs? Because I, and also I feel like from the beginning to the end, nothing really sounds the same. So mm. yeah, how did yeah, how did that happen? It uh, it came together as you know. I mean, I have a band called The Moon, and the yeah. song was. Daniel, Memi, Trey, Sap, uh, Cam Johnson, and we all get together and we kind of just like, you know, we have such a good chemistry when we're talking about the music and like seeing what we want to put together that it just, you know, it's hard to describe like that energy, but that energy is how we picked those songs. So just seeing, you know, like, just like which records go together, which ones paint, you know, which ones like tell my story and our story and, and, uh, and it was fun. I mean, you know, 
some people make albums like with a with one like a uh, concept idea and then they write all their songs based on that or whatever and yeah. some people kind of push it together and this was more of like just putting stuff together that you know had maybe started at different times but then you realize wow like it all kind of still fits together yeah and then just putting the puzzle you know it's like a puzzle yeah it's because i i just feel like what's nice about it is as much as it's it sounds so co- cohesive together but then you've got songs like forever and you got songs like yeah. Home Girl, and you just like yeah. so you're gonna find that people from all different like musical backgrounds would just love the tape do you know what i mean yeah i love that yeah i mean it's i mean my my like inspirations range everywhere from like you know like donny hathaway and earth wind and fire to like you know burt Bacharach yeah type of shit and and hall and oats and then all the way up to rage against the machine and tupac and up yeah. into like you know stuff today so it's just like a, a reflection of the of the stuff that i'm that i'm listening to and that i'm that i was raised off of and it, it ranges yeah i can imagine deep. yeah how was making perfect is boring with title sign that was sick because yeah. we really um we really got to like you know produce and write that whole song together so that was dope to like you know not a lot of people know that ty is like a really talented uh musician yeah and uh he and he's so dope so we we uh pulled up to his house he had a studio house he was working on his project at, and there's a couple songs on his project that i'm singing backgrounds on and just like i was over there messing around with stuff and we got in the live room and i was on the piano and the drums and he was on guitar and we just started jamming and that was like just a groove it wasn't even initially for like you know for high tide or for low yeah. tide or anything it was just like we were just catching a vibe and it was like damn this shit is crazy same thing like with sid you know it was, yeah. like, it was like it was organic so we kind of just you know that's that's really like the way this both these projects came together is just like organic energy yeah it's it's nice when everything's nice and authentic like that makes it even more special yeah. it's like it, it has it to go so on the album then do you know what i mean exactly everything, everything just feels right exactly so what's next obviously we're still kind of in a lockdown i don't know what the situation is like in la but over well, here things are lifting up a bit i can't even pull up i know a, a ban on the u.s i know man <laughs> it's sad because it's like I, I wish it was festival time this meant to be time for us to all be turning up do you know what i mean but it's what's the you plan? telling me it's the horrible. plan is you know i'm i'm trying to I'm I'm cooking up more, you know, I'm mm. working with people from a distance and I'm working on these videos and I'm doing these things called high tea on my uh, on my Instagram where I'm breaking yeah. down some of the productions on the tracks. And, um, you know, just like being creative. Everyone's kind of figuring out what to do until we can get back out on the road. So I'm making more music, but I can't wait to go perform these because I haven't even done a tour for low yeah. time, really, which is crazy. So we did we did New York and London and Toronto for low tide. Yeah. And then uh, after that, the plan was to do like a low tide, high tide tour together. And right when that was going to kick off, it was all booked and planned and everything. Just got stopped. Just slapped out the window. That's what happened. That is sad. But I'm sure when it's it's time, everyone's going to want to be at a show anyway. So it's the vibe's going to be Yeah, I hope when the gates open up, yeah, it's going to be crazy. Everyone's going to be like, everyone's going to want to, you know experience experience yeah. experience because people ain't been doing shit so exactly it'll be nice to get out there yeah man well i don't want to take too much of your time up but thank you so much for having a chat with me oh of course thank you for hitting me up where can everyone find your music and everything else everybody can find the music on every streaming platform if you search Laven Kali, l-e-v-e-n-k-a-l-i that's the same thing on gram same thing on twitter Laven Kali, everybody stay safe and get better and wear your mask and all that shit so we can do tours again. I miss y'all. There we go. Well, thank you so much.